Y254. Uh, remember to send us your comments or questions to our Twitter handle at Murani Hillary at Y254 channel. Good evening, gentlemen. Good evening. Good evening. Happy New Year to Japatana. <laughs> 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 now, uh, Daniel, I will begin with you. Are you satisfied with the kind of uh, leadership being shown by the parliamentarians we have, including even the MCAs? Thank you for uh, the invitation here, and of course, Happy New Year to the viewers. Well, uh, it's, it's a double-edged question because also it depends on which side you are viewing it from. Um, my perception or my um, observation is based on so many uh, uh, factors to put into consideration. And uh, looking into uh, specifically matters of political leadership, um, our expectation when we elected our leaders is based on so many factors. One of the things probably young people are too looking towards is the uh, the fulfillment of uh, of the what the young, the young parliamentarians actually or anybody who mm -hmm. occupies a leadership position promised the youth. Uh, the other one probably is uh, um, what kind of role modeling. Um, are our leaders actually providing. Yeah. So uh, speaking about um, our parliamentarians, and of course we are having bodies like Young Parliamentarians Association, mm -hmm. which is quite difficult to uh, look into through what they have actually done in satisfaction of the expectation of young people. What we have seen in the House probably is infighting. Uh, you saw uh, Babu Wino and Jago exchange, mm -hmm. uh, you know, tyrants, and uh, probably a number of young people uh, uh, that we actually should emulate right. when it comes to leadership. But on the other side, we've also seen young parliamentarians and young political leaders. Uh, for example, Kibra, member of parliament, people who are worth emulating, Senator Sakaja. Yeah. So it's a double-edged question, uh, and that's why I said it depends on which side um, uh, a young person is looking uh, it from or the expectation of young people. But generally, I think um, uh, in a scale of 1 to 10, mm -hmm. Uh, probably I would raise the expectation to four, right. uh, to be very honest with the work that they have done um, in, in parliamentary leadership. Mm -hmm. All right, before I get to your karaoke, uh, you just spoke of uh, Sakaja Daniel. Uh, do you think he is more vibrant as he was when he was an MP? Well, we, we really need to understand that in the last um, term, Sakaja um, was nominated. Member of parliament. Right. That means that the resources within his disposal were actually limited for him yeah. to actually uh, help or, uh, um, in that matter of uh, factor, mm -hmm. assist young people. But right now he is within um, the electorate, he is within the leadership, uh, not only um, in Nairobi, but you see Nairobi is a hub, is a capital center, and there is much expectation with probably a budget of 35 billion. So probably in his oversight role, one of the things that I was expecting is, I think he was rated as one of the uh, of the best uh, young yes. uh, parliamentarian. But then it's quite difficult to track tangibly right. what he has done. I, I've only seen him paying, uh, driving a couple who was wedding, uh, giving <laughs> a couple. And, and maybe the other things uh, Sakaji is actually doing. But I wish that probably platforms like Mzalendo and others would actually begin to, you know, uh, get into what each each and uh, each member of parliament or political leaders mm -hmm. um, are actually doing. Hillary, uh, to cap it all, you've you've seen within our neighbourhood, uh, Bobby Wine is doing something uh, really. Mm -hmm. um, it depends also others what others see, but I think he's doing something within our neighbours mm -hmm. that is worth emulating. Honestly, trying to um, reassure democracy back to uh, Ugandans. Mm -hmm. uh, we are having. Um, down in South, uh, South Africa, uh, where we're having Julius Malema, actually trying to, you know, um, uh, with his political party, uh, create a space for democracy, fight uh, racism, but as well creating a space and voice for young people. Right. How I wish that would be uh, emulated here. Right. right. 
yeah, maybe we should also be asking for a sign <laughs> from Mama. <laughs> now, <laughs> Karioke, uh, yes. what do uh, what you feel? Uh, Are you satisfied with the leadership that has been shown? Okay, let me begin by underscoring the fact that uh, we, as the young people, to some extent, and uh, in this case, I talk about leaders who have been given positions of leadership, yeah. have lowered the bar, especially in Kenya. But to look at it from what I call a prismatic angle, mm -hmm. on the other edge, we have uh, governments which have made sweet the rhetoric that the youth are the leaders of tomorrow. Right. But the commitment to the fruition of that mm -hmm. is not in the spirit mm -hmm. of what they say. Mm -hmm. They don't uh, actually mean what they say. Mm -hmm. There is no effort to make sure that those who are young, and in this, case, in this case I'm talking about 35 years and uh, below, right. get what is rightfully theirs. As we speak right now, across Africa, the young people are always the strongest in health. Mm -hmm. But if you look at economically, mm -hmm. they are the weakest. Mm -hmm. Because there is a crop of leadership, the pioneering crop of leadership, which thinks mm -hmm. that these people are a threat to our future endeavors in politics. Mm -hmm. Looking at it from a contemporary Kenyan uh, society, mm -hmm. we have, like uh, my friend Daniel mentioned, the Kenya Young Parliamentarian Association, mm -hmm. which I would say, to some extent, uh, uh, let me give it a 50-50. 50 percent of the members of uh, that association mm -hmm. are actually doing what is right, doing what is right.